everyone, it's Miss Ella, and I have a super fun Halloween art project for us today. We are gonna make paper jack-o'-lanterns just in time for Halloween. If you don't have orange and green paper at home, that's okay, don't worry. You can still do this project with white paper and make yours into a ghost. Kind of spooky, kind of fun. So the materials that we're gonna need are a piece of orange paper, it's possible that yours already looks like this. If so, great. If not, just grab a piece of paper. It can be white or orange. Um, some green paper, if you have it at home. Um, again, possible that yours is already cut up. That's great. If not, no worries. Just grab a piece of green paper or again, white paper will work too. And I'm also gonna have you grab a black marker, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a ruler or a straight edge and some tape and if you don't have tape at home you can also use a stapler if you have one all right so we are going to go ahead and get started go ahead and press pause on the video if you need a second to grab your materials and i'll meet you back here in just a sec okay so let's start with our pieces of paper if your paper has been prepared already you'll skip the first few steps but if it's not start by folding your orange paper in half hot dog style then you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna draw a line across the top here. Make sure that you're drawing um, at the top where the two edges of the paper come together, not at the fold. Next, you're gonna be drawing lines here, starting from the line that you just drew down to the bottom of the page. They'll be spread out about an inch apart or so, and you're gonna do this all the way across your paper until you've reached the end. Next, you're gonna take your green paper and you're gonna cut a strip about an inch um, thick, maybe a little bit less wide out. And this is gonna be the handle of your jack-o'-lantern at the end. Great, so now we're gonna move on to the fun part. We're gonna draw our jack-o'-lantern's face. So grab your black marker and in the center of your paper, you're gonna start to draw your jack-o'-lantern's face. Let's try to keep the eyes some, some way above the midline of the paper and the nose kind of at the center line of the paper and the mouth can be underneath. Um, and you really get to choose here. You can make your eyes square if you want to. You can make them triangle. Really use your creativity. It's okay if yours looks different than mine does. Just have fun with it. I'm feeling kind of like the mouth isn't exactly how I wanted it to look, but that's okay. I'm really curious to see how it's gonna turn out anyways. So now I'm gonna go in and use my black marker to shade on the inside of the shapes that I've drawn on the face. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward here, but if you need to, you can always pause the video and catch up until you move on to the next step, okay? When this step has finished, you can put your marker down and we're gonna fold our paper back up again. So we just see the eyes there. Next, you're gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna cut along the lines that are running across the page. But remember about that do not cut line that runs across the top. Don't cut any further than that line because that is going to be what's holding our jack-o'-lantern together. So you have to be really careful when you do this step to make sure that you're using your patience and your control to make sure those scissors don't go above that line. So when this step is done, we're gonna move to taping it all together. So go ahead and open your paper up and grab your tape, and you're going to make this into a circle. So you can see how I'm bending it around here so that it comes together as a circle at the top of the paper and at the bottom. And with one hand, I'm gonna hold the top, the, the top of this paper edge in place. With my other hand, I'm gonna grab a piece of tape and fold it over so that those paper lines don't budge. Now they're gonna stay in place there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom. When this step is done, I'm going to move on to taping the jack-o'-lantern handle with the green piece of paper that I have. So I'm gonna grab that green piece of paper here and I'm going to take two pieces of tape and I'm gonna tape on the inside of the orange paper so that I don't see the tape on the outside. But first I want to center it to make sure that the handle is going to kind of be centered on either side of this jack-o'-lantern's face because when I hang it, I want the face to be facing outwards towards me so I can really see it. 
So here I am going to tape on the inside of the jack-o-lantern. That's kind of tricky. you got to be patient here. And then I'm going to fold this piece of paper over, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. And that's really it. Now you're done. Now your jack-o-lantern has a handle, and we can take a look and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Mine looks so silly. I wonder what yours looks like. I hope you all had a good time with this one. These are super fun. You can make a couple of them and hang them around your house for Halloween decorations. Um, just remember that this is different than a pumpkin where like a pumpkin you can put a candle in it. This is paper, so don't put a candle in it. It'll catch on fire and that will be no good. Um, so these are just purely for decoration and um, make as many as you want. If you have different kinds of paper, different colors of paper, you can play around. You can make a bat, you can make a vampire, you could make um, Count Dracula, Frankenstein, the list goes on. Definitely take a picture and send it to me so I can see what you're doing there at home. Um, all right, you all have a great rest of your week and I will see you very soon.